Hello my friends, welcome back. Back for another First Impressions playthrough. Today I wanted to make a video about Game VR Room or Game Varoom, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Uh, I haven't tried this yet, but it looks like it'll turn any flat screen game into a Nintendo Wii type game in VR. So you can set up custom controls to slash, swipe, and um, use motion controllers like you would an old Nintendo Wii. Uh, there's multiplayer as well, and so I'm really curious about this. Let's check it out. Okay, tutorial. I definitely need that. Welcome to Game Room. Here you can use your VR controllers to play regular PC games and invite your friends to join. You can create bindings for any keyboard, mouse, or gamepad input, and even use gestures and virtual buttons. We'll cover most of it in this tutorial. And this is important, so pay attention. Before starting, you'll have to disable Desktop Game Theater in Steam by clicking View, Settings, In-Game, and unchecking Use Desktop Game Theater. Otherwise, Steam will launch your games in a separate VR mode. Okay, I'll go do that real quick. View settings in game. Okay. Steam games will appear automatically in your games library. To add a non Steam game, just click the games menu in Steam on your computer and select Add a non Steam game to my library. When launching a new game from the library, Game Room will ask you to select the layout. A layout contains bindings. For example, the pressing the trigger clicks the mouse button on your PC. You can change and add bindings to your layout in the bindings editor. If your game uses space to jump, just click on the space button in the editor, then on the controller binding you want to bind it to. In the bindings editor, you can also use poses and props like virtual buttons and bind them to mouse, keyboard or gamepad buttons. Or you can load whole layouts that other people have created from the layout library. In Game Room, you move the mouse by holding the grip button and moving your controller. This gives you better precision and allows you to play games like first person shooters. You can change to point and click from the mouse options in the bindings editor. Okay, grip for mouse, okay. When you're ready to start playing using your layout, you need to change from edit mode to game mode. This hides the lasers and closes all open windows, and lets you use your bindings to control your games instead. Yeah, okay, I see that in the bottom there, okay. And that's all you need to know to get started. If you run into any problems or have any feedback for Game Room, please join our Discord, and we'll help you there. Alright. So, uh, let's get started. Um, games, I guess. I reinstalled Metal Slug just for this purpose. I thought it'd be a good starter flat screen game. Metal Slug, play. Okay, game has loaded. Now let's go layouts. <laughs> okay, game playing in the background. So, um, okay, layouts, templates. Uh, okay, gamepad. That sounds like a good start. Okay, we got a uh, gamepad stuff here. Cool. It's a little low. Can I just... Yeah, okay, I can grip to move them up. Cool. Uh, the orbs are spinning a little fast. There we go. D-pad. Alright, let's just uh, give us a shot. Game mode. Okay, our bubbles are here. Okay, so <laughs> right now, my index controllers are acting like game pads. But that's separate from these orbs. Orb, D-pad up and down. Okay, the orb works and the controllers work as a game pad as well. So it's like we have both options available to us. Okay, so, so far it seems pretty straightforward. I'm using the controllers as a gamepad. And these, yeah, these orbs also work. D-pad left, right, up, down. Okay. 
but obviously this is, I mean, using these controllers as a gamepad is cool, but um, not as cool as setting up these gestures, I think. I want to get more into these gestures. Let's see, um, edit mode. Actually, what's a good way to quit the game? Uh, games. Close game. All right. So, yeah, I want to try, like, I want to have almost like a drum system with lots of orbs around me. I'm really interested in that and, and the customization. Let's see. Um, your layouts. Uh, no layouts for this title. Windows Desktop. Oh, okay. It includes Windows Desktop as a game. Which kind of makes sense, because Windows Desktop would have its own control scheme if you wanted that. Okay, so anyway, that's Windows Desktop Profile. I want Metal Slug. No layouts for this title. Okay, I want to create one. Um, Metal Slug is selected. Back to Editor. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I think we're in business now. But uh, it seems to me it switched back to Windows Desktop Active Game. I want to go to Metal Slug. Oh, come on now. Why'd you... why it disappear like that? Okay, it says it's selected. Okay, cool, cool. So I'm going to guess controllers is for these guys here. Virtual buttons. Yeah, okay, virtual buttons must be these. I want more virtual buttons. I think this is the real interesting part. So... Let's delete these d paths and let's have four buttons for the actions of our hero and I'll use my joystick to move the hero. So, virtual button and it seemed to be just two clicks and you bind it, is that correct from the tutorial? Bind, select the key, gamepad X. Cool, okay, yeah, yeah, great. Bind, gamepad Y. Bind, gamepad B. Yeah, I feel like these virtual buttons are the real power of this. Because up until now, we could always play games on a big screen in VR. But this new way of interacting is fascinating, I think. Okay, is that now applied to the game? Um, is that like saved now? No, it's, uh huh, okay. It didn't seem to apply it to Metal Slug. I thought I was in Metal Slug. Do I export? Okay, now I can name it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, gamepad, sure, that's good enough. Save complete. Okay, okay, great. Gamepad, layout saved, and, but that's, <laughs> okay. I create a new layout. I thought it saved it in Metal Slug, it saved it in Windows Desktop. So, let's try the game now and see if this layout will stick. Okay, game loaded. Okay, the interface is still here. Cool, cool, great, so that's good. <laughs> These giant gamepad buttons. Okay, so, um... <laughs> yeah, so far it works great! Um, I'm gonna go easy mode, because this is gonna be very difficult like this. Gamepad A. And I admit that this kind of a game probably isn't the best way to have gesture virtual buttons, but, um, there's probably better games for this, but, you know, we're just taking this for a spin. Okay. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> B. It's working! It's working, man. It's really working. Flame shot. Alright, and oh no, this is Okay, right, I forgot. I can switch between um 
Yeah, I can control either way. I can switch to full motion controller buttons or go back to... I can't believe I've survived this long, actually. Interesting. Okay, it worked. I mean, shoot, it works. Great. Okay, let's uh, edit mode. Let's quit the game. All right. These orbs are very cool. Um, can I just quickly... Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is a great little color selector. Make them green. <laughs> cool. What other kinds of customizations can we do here? Layouts. Uh, the gamepad layout. Editor. Right. Controllers, we obviously have going. Virtual buttons are these guys. Poses. So this is like a... Uh, these are like gestures you do on your... <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, again, Metal Slug might not be the best example for this, but this is interesting. Okay, so... Poses... Two ear right controller... X... Uh, right controller to chest... Let's make that... Jump... <laughs> uh, to other forearm... Let's be... Shooting... Twist inwards. I'm guessing the controller moves that way, but let's just try something. Twist inwards, uh, move left. Twist outwards, move right. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Tilt head left and right. Okay, this this we're gonna try for sure. Tilt head left. Tilt head right. <laughs> okay. Okay. In that case, let's um, not, not do twist for now. Mission one, start. <laughs> it does work. Oh my gosh. Tilting my head moves the character left or right. Okay, and what was the... Um... <laughs> Moving my hand uh, throws grenades and uh, jump, right? Yeah, jump. <laughs> this is hilarious, dude. Okay, uh, I'm pressing A button to shoot because I'm, I'm, my brain is full trying to think of all the gestures I've set up. Um, right, don't use the buttons. So, chest is jump, ear grenade, <laughs> and oh, and I forgot tilting move. That's hilarious, dude. Okay, so. And there was the hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, is that right? Hand to, right, there was hand to forearm, and that makes it shoot. Okay. Wild, dude, okay. Let's see, I wanna try something where, a little more Nintendo Wii style, like I swipe a virtual button. I'm gonna go with Call of Duty. I played that with my dad sometimes, the old Call of Duty Black Ops. Maybe like a, Swipe to swing your knife. Something like that. So I'm just gonna very roughly set up a swipe to attack. Oh, actually this is an interesting challenge because if I recall, by default in the game, pressing right joystick is stab. So let's see. I want to set up a virtual button for that, I think. Spawn virtual button. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bind. With that. Stick. Oh, great. Okay. Stick. Up, down, left, right. Press. Stick press. Cool. Oh, you know what? This game is unique in that you can't use the gamepad in the menu. This is not game room. This is the game itself. So let's uh, back to edit mode. I need a keyboard layout. Oh, nice. I can keep the gamepad buttons and add a keyboard button. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's very good. Okay, so this is gonna be just for the menu. Up, down, left, right. That's cool. You're not stuck to just gamepad or keyboard. 
You can have both in front of you. That's slick. And then I need to enter. Okay. <laughs> I know this is messy, but we're going for it. Now. Yeah, okay, great. Down to zombies. Go down once, solo. Enter. And play on five. Enter. Okay, cool. So yeah, the <laughs> this is gonna be a very clumsy play session, but all I wanna do is swipe to knife the zombies. That's what I wanna do, so we'll see how it goes. FYI, I know you can't hear the game audio right now because for some reason the game audio is um, playing on my desktop speaker and not my VR speaker. I don't know why. I can slice, I can slice, I can slice. <laughs> Red. <laughs> this is, this is. I mean, God, this is working. This is working. But this is this definitely adds a new spin to. Yeah, slice. <laughs> okay, is there a way to expand the size of these? I want to edit mode. Can I make these bigger? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Two grips to make it now. This, <laughs> darn it, they're behind me. Yeah, Brad. <laughs> this massive sphere in front of me to slice. Hey, I made it to round two. Cool. Cool. This is really interesting, really promising. Now, one thing I haven't looked into too deeply is that there's now side-by-side -side 3D so if you have a flat screen game that allows 3D, like a 3D TV would give you, you can have that in here now. Now, I need to go and find out if I actually have any games that support this. I, <laughs> I was waiting for this feature before trying it, but I feel like I might not have games that actually do. I gotta research and find out what libraries I have to, that will actually use that feature, but that's there. So that could be really fun to have like a massive 3D TV in front of you. Another thing to note is that there's multiplayer, so you can have Sort of like in big screen, how people can join you to watch you play. So have friends gather around the giant screen to play together. Now, I need to try that out uh, with my dad. My dad has this too, and I want to see if we can play multiplayer together. I think you can. I don't know how the layout will work, though. I got to really try that out and see how that works. I'm fascinated by that. If I get good results with that, I will hopefully update a big comment down below and in the video description to let you know how multiplayer works. I don't know if that will warrant an entire new video, but I'm curious about that too. And uh, yeah, so this has been just a very simple, straightforward first impressions of Game Room, and I find this really promising and really fascinating. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.